Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain low PP causes, symptoms, prevention as well as the treatment. First, we are going to see what is blood pressure. Generally, the heart pumps the blood through blood vessels to various parts of the body. In these blood vessels, how the blood flows is measured by blood pressure. Normally, the BP levels will be 120 by 80 millimeters mercury. But in certain conditions, the BP will be less than 90 by 60 millimeters mercury. These conditions we call it as low BP or hypotension. There are various causes of low BP. First important cause is dehydration. Dehydration may occur because of vomiting, loose motions, low water intake, fever, etc. And also low BP, one of the most common cause is blood loss. Whenever in periods there will be bleeding and whenever there is accident or if there is an ulcer in the stomach, there will be blood loss. If there is blood, blood loss, there is decrease in the blood volume and automatically decrease in the blood pressure. As we know that the heart pumps the blood. If there is decrease in the heart rate or certain heart problems like arrhythmias, valvular stenosis and in People who take antihypertensive drugs like metoprolol, antidepressants like emetriptyline, water pills like frusamide, in such conditions also there is low blood pressure. And also we most commonly see low BP in pregnancy. Why? Because in pregnancy, because of certain hormonal changes, the blood vessels dilate. Whenever the blood vessels dilate, automatically BP will be reduced. This condition we most commonly encounter in first trimester or first 24 weeks of pregnancy and this low BP can be automatically cured once the delivery is done. And low BP can occur because of certain hormonal changes like Addison's disease, low blood sugar called hypoglycemia and certain nutritional deficiencies like vitamin B12, folate, iron deficiency also causes low blood pressure. There are various types of low BP. First one is orthostatic hypotension or postural hypotension. When a person suddenly stands after long sitting or after prolonged sleeping, in such cases BP will be suddenly false. This condition we most commonly encounter in older people and common cause is dehydration, pregnancy, long term bed rest and certain medical conditions cause this orthostatic or postural hypotension. Second type of blood, uh, low BP is postprandial hypotension. In certain people, the blood pressure will fall immediately within 1 to 2 hours after eating. We call this condition as postprandial hypotension. This hypotension is seen in older people who have high blood pressure and in conditions with Parkinson's problem. To overcome this postprandial hypotension, we should eat small and low carbohydrate meals we should drink more water, we should avoid alcohol to reduce this postprandial hypotension. And third one is neurally mediated hypotension. In these people, the BP falls immediately after standing for long periods. People who stand for long periods, in such conditions, the BP will fall. This hypotension is seen in young adults, children, etc. It most commonly occurs because of imbalance or miscommunication between the heart and the brain. Coming to the symptoms of low BP, as we know because of low BP there is less blood flow to all organs. So symptoms will be weakness, dizziness, sweating in the hands and legs, body becomes cold and there will be severe tachycardia in severe low BP conditions. Coming to the diagnosis, we can diagnose the low BP by checking the blood pressure and certain blood tests like hemoglobin, sugar levels and uh, ECG to, re to re diagnose any heart problems and tilt table test which is usually done to detect the postural hypotension. Coming to the treatment, treatment of low BP usually depends upon the condition. If low BP is occurred because of dehydration or vomiting, loose motions, we should do the treatment accordingly. Generally to avoid the dehydration, we should take high fluid, water intake, electrolytes and in severe conditions saline should be given. And doctors may prescribe certain tablets like fludocortisone, midodrine, etc. If low BP is because of the blood loss, blood transfusion should be done. 
and if the low bp is because of certain tablets drug dosage should be corrected coming to the prevention of low bp we can prevent the low bp by drinking more water butter milk etc we can prevent the postural hypotension which by doing certain things we should not stand immediately we should take uh, rest or we should sit for at least 10 seconds then we should stand and we should avoid long sitting long standing etc to increase the blood we should intake high beetroot juice pomegranate juice wheat grass juice and also we should eat food in a very small quantity and low carbohydrate meals and also to reduce or to prevent below bp there are certain asanas like cross leg position squat position body tension position etc this is all about low bp or hypotension hope you like the video if you like the video please share and subscribe our channel thank you